Hey there, this is Sean. In this video, I want to quickly show a method for doing texture packing where you can use texture packing for multiple black and white masks into one bitmap material. So, and I'm going to give away a quick uh, Photoshop action that I built so you can automate the process. All right, so let me jump into Photoshop. All right, so the action that I built in Photoshop presumes that you have uh, three to four masks that you're going to drop in and that the, uh, the masks that you're gonna drop in are in the same size as the file that you make. So in this case, I made a 512 by 512 texture because it's gonna be tileable, right? And then I have uh, multiple masks that I've made, one, two, three, four, and those masks are going to be put into the RGB, and the, the, uh, um, the action itself will create an alpha channel for you. So uh, let me just, it's called Texture Pack, and I'll, I'll put a link to the bottom for um, the action in Photoshop, and I'll also explain, well, how do you uh, load the Texture Packing action? You just go up to the top here, and then you can uh, also load actions. So the one that you download for me, you can load it and it'll show up here. So then how do you run it? You just click on the texture pack and you click run and it'll prompt you four times for the files. So here's one, two, three, and four. And let's check out the channels. It creates the channels, and there it is. Then you can save this off as uh, you know whatever the file texture that you want to call it. And that now gives you four masks for the price of one file. Awesome. All right. Well, hopefully that helps people out because uh, texture packing is awesome. And also, I really like this method for having multiple masks available to me. There are so many ways that you can use multiple masks and having them come in and being consolidated into one file is really useful. All right, awesome. Thanks so much for watching.